Hello everyone, welcome to Neutron Viz Academy. Today I would like to share how to create cinematic short film by using D5 render. Cinematic renders are much more moody than architectural visualization renders. So we need to take of each and every frames to be artistic. Don't worry, I'll explain each and every steps in detail. Let's dive in. First step is building the scene in D5 render. In this case, I use terrain tools to sculpt the land by using different brushes. We can also adjust the brush parameters to get the desired result. After sculpting the base form, we need to add more details on the surface. So, I decided to use brush tool. And then added some nature stones to the brush library. And adjusted some brush parameters before painting on the surface. It is important to turn on the align to terrain parameter so that the stones to be well aligned on the surface. I painted on the terrain to get the desired result. We need to be patient the painting process to get the best result. To create the ocean, I used the plane model from asset library. I scaled it a bit to cover the scene area. Then, I applied the water material to this. I increased the UV to get more wave. I also changed the color and depth value to get more depth. I also added some rocks in the foreground by using brush tool. For the lighthouse model, I downloaded it from CG Trader. I downloaded FBX format so that I can easily import to D5 render. After importing the model, I made positioning and scaled it a bit. This is the end of chapter 1. Lighting is one of the most important thing in cinematic renders, so we need to understand it well. Moreover, we need to understand the different kinds of weather and need to know how they affect on lighting and shadow. Let's study together. There are two light sources, natural light and artificial light. We can get natural light from sun, sky, and moon, and artificial light from man-made lighting equipments. In D5 render, we can find the natural light sources in environment settings. There are three options available, geo and sky, custom, and HDRI. Whatever we used, we need to consider intensity, shadow, and color temperature. Let's start with the intensity. Intensity means how bright is the sun. The sun's intensity increases throughout the daytime. It declines sunrise and sunset. Moreover, the weather affect the intensity of the sun as well. The cloudy and foggy weathers can reduce the sun intensity as they cause the layers and cover the sun. So, we need to adjust the intensity correctly to get the realistic result. Let's discuss about shadow. There are two types of shadow, hard shadow and soft shadow. Let's take a look at our geo system. It is made up of sun and sky. The direct light from sun cause hard shadow, which is sharp and single in number. The indirect light from sky and bounce light from the environment cause soft shadows. They are also known as ambient shadows. They are usually soft and multiple in number. At the daytime, the sunlight is more prominent than ambient light. The shadow will be sharper. At the sunrise and sunset, the sun is less prominent than environment light. The shadow becomes softer. Moreover, the cloudy and foggy weather will make the shadow softer than the sunny weather. Because they cover the sun and make the ambient light more prominent. By using these concepts, we can easily determine the softness of the shadow by adjusting the sun disk radius in D5 render. The last one is the color temperature which determine the color of the scene. It depends on two factors, time and weather. Sunrise and sunset have lower color temperature than the daytime. It means the scene will be warmer. The cloudy weather will have more blue cast than the sunny one. We can find exact color temperature values by using Google. So, never forget to adjust the color temperature to get more realistic result. In addition, I added some fog and cloud to get more realistic result. In some scenes, I added precipitation effect for rain. For artificial lights, I used spotlights and point lights. In this case, I mainly use the natural light, so I will not explain artificial light in detail. If you want to know more, Please see this tutorial. In this chapter, I will explain the some composition techniques that I used. Most of the time, 
I stick to rule of third. In some scene, I use diagonal composition to get more dynamic. Light direction is also an important part of the composition. We don't need to lighten the whole scene. The lighting should give the nice contrast by providing highlight and shadow. The environmental fog play a big role in composition. It provides the tonal variation and scene depth. There are some VFX that I made outside the D5 render. The first one is the iguana. I downloaded green screen video of iguana and composited in After Effects software. I used key light to remove green screen, and also used level and hue and saturation to merge with the background video. For lightning effects, I used green screen video and also composited in After Effect. To brightening the scene when lightning, I added level adjustment and created some keyframes. For editing and post-production, I used CapCut software. I added some filters for color grading. And also added the movie effect to get more cinematic look. For the background music, I downloaded audio track from YouTube audio library. For the sound effects, I used from the CapCut sound effects library. After that, I got this cinematic short film. I hope my tutorial will be useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.